Ubercom presents Deng Xiaoping and Economic Reforms for the Average Chinese Boy. Little Bai Lei is your average Chinese boy in the 1970s. He is unhappy with his life under the rule of Chairman Mao. Boy, my son, I had to live through the Great Leap Forward and the Great Proletarian Cultural Revolution. I feel oppressed by our government. Oppressed. Long live Chairman Mao. I just want a new start. Whatever can I do? Fear not, Bai Lei. Now you've got Deng Xiaoping. Okay. Who is that? And what can you do for me? Deng Xiaoping became one of the top members of the Communist Party in the 1950s. However, he came into conflict with Mao, who believed that Deng's capitalistic approach defied the revolution. After Mao's death, Deng took position as top party member, and he became known for his pragmatism. Deng applied the responsibility system in agriculture, and also opened China to foreign trade and investment. Wow, Deng Xiaoping seems to be taking China in a new direction. What are some of the features of his reforms? First thing that he has done is kill the iron rice bowl, which has guaranteed jobs and service for life, and now has people work for their well-being. Next is his four modernizations, which has created a new, more perfect socialist market economy. He has also created several special economic zones. Oh boy! Are his economic reforms successful? Why, little Bailey? Just look for yourself. Wow! A foreign investor! Ha ha ha! Not just any foreign investor. He's an American investor. Hello, hello, Chinese boy. I am willing to pay you two cents a day to make shoes in my factory. Want to work for me? Oh boy! Two cents a day! I'm there. As you can see, by late, Deng's reforms has brought improved relations with the West. That is why this American investor has now hired you and all your little friends to work in his factory in the big city. Oh, thank you so much, Mister. You've changed my life. Now I don't got to farm no more. Don't waste my time. Come with me to my factory. Okay. Just a minute, little Bailey. There are also some problems with Deng's reforms. His reforms have actually caused more centralization in terms of management of the business industry. Also, by opening up the economy, he has made it harder for the Communist Party to control the people's civil liberties. This will eventually lead to protests and the tragic events of the Tiananmen Massacre. Uh, who cares? I'm going to make money! Yay! This has been the Ubercom presentation. Thank you for watching.